Chaim, Chaim. I would like to share with you a project of the Rebbe related to the Rambam, to the Shia Rambam, to the learning of the Rambam. I hope this will encourage myself and everybody to strengthen themselves in the learning of the Rambam, in the learning of the Shiurim of the Rambam. In 1984, this is in Tovshin Dalad Mem, Akrashal Pesach, the Rebbe started the Takona of learning a daily Rambam, Shir Rambam. From what I remember, the actual Shir began on Chof Zayin Nisan Tovshin Dalad Mem. A few months later, it was Hamisha Osar Be'ov. There was a Fabrengen. And during that Fabrengen, the Rebbe said that he wants that there should be a group of Yungalite, Yungalite of the Koilo, who should devote themselves to a project in which the sources of the halachas of the Rambam will be compiled and published. As it's known, the Rambam wrote his halachas in Sefer Mishnah Teiram without giving the sources because he wanted it to be able to be learned by everybody, kakotin, kagodel, great and small, everybody should be able to learn it straight, the halachas, the laws of the Rambam in a, in a clear, concise way. The Rebbe actually explained during the course of this uh, project that the Rambam himself writes that he actually, if you can say, um, regrets that he did not write the sources for his halachas and he would like to compose, to compile the sources of his halachas because he himself saw the need for having the sources of the halachas recorded. Someone asked him, the Ramah writes in one of his letters, the source of halacha and he gave the source, realized afterwards that that was not the place, and afterwards found the right source where, where he took it from, and therefore the Rambam himself writes that it, it was his intention to compile this kind of a, a chibur. So the Rebbe said that by those that are now compiling what's now known as the Mare Mekemis of the Rambam, is actually fulfilling the will of the wish of the Rambam. The following day, I had the merit to be learning in the coil of the Maskiris at the time. Rabbi Heller came in and he said that the Rebbe wants to know which Jungleite are ready to devote themselves to this project. So there was a number of us that gave in their names I gave him my name as well. And we started working, actually the entire Kalo started working on compiling the sources, collecting the sources for the Rambam. We were giving guidance how to do it, and we got Svarim that bring the sources of the Rambam, because this is actually something that's been dealt with since, since the Rambam's uh, work was uh, written. Till today, this is what the uh, scholars, what the Mefarshim, what the Chachamim were always involved with. One of the main things was to find and explain what's the source of the Rambam. So we were started working. I remember we, we concentrated first of all on the Hakdoma, which has all the generations and all the names. And we worked quite extensively on it to find the source for every detail, Remember, we used the Geras Rab Shiriragoyen and various sources to find, try to find uh, sources for every detail. And from time to time, we would have to send them to the Rebbe what we did. The Rebbe, in the course of this time, Fabrengd a few times, and the Rebbe had said 
that we should not um, spend so much time now to going and searching for every detail, but rather to gather and collect that which is more readily available, those sources that are more readily available, and put and and in the more um, speedy in the speedy way to complete um, the sources, find gathering to gathering together the sources for the Rambam for the entire Rambam. <clears throat> so at a certain point, this is all that we're discussing now is in the course. We're talking about a, a span of two weeks, less than two weeks. We started working in a in, in a in a manner where. We had a plan that every kailal young man takes a few prakim. We will be able to do it on a, on the level of about 60 prakim a day, 50, 60 prakim a day. And the Rambam has a thousand prakim. So the plan was that in the course of a few weeks, we'll be able to, to manage to finish compiling the Mara Mekemis for the Rambam. <coughs> at least the first version. Um, again, we would, the Rebbe would ask, we would have to give in to the Rebbe what we did. I remember the uh, Empire Press, with, uh, especially with the effort of Remot Khain, Olav HaSholem, a big schus for him. He worked very, very hard with the whole staff. Um, they worked very hard because things were not as sophisticated as they are now. Everything would have to go to the printer, then you had to come back on Gailey's, and we have to edit and then send it back, and do a few times back and forth till, till the product was a complete, you know, corrected product. <clears throat> this is a day before Erev Rishchidosh El. We're talking about two weeks since the, the start of this project, probably a little bit less. Chof Ches Menachemov. The Rebbe asked what's going on, and we reported to the Rebbe what we were doing. And the Rebbe answered that apparently, Apparently, there is lacking in the alacrity, in the Zrizus, at least on the level of Mahadrin Mina Mahadrin. And the Rebbe said, wrote, that in, 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 in regards to such a matter, to the, the Zrizus is very important. Even such a level of Mahadrim and Amahadrim. I believe the Rebbe is referring to what it says in the Geras HaKedosh, that the Schus that stands us in good stead till today is from the Akedah. That Avram brought Yitzchak to the Akeda, the, the, the great merit is especially because of the Zrizus, the, uh, the extraordinary alacrity with which Avram Avinu did, went ahead to do what the Ebster wants. So we saw that the Rebbe wants things done even more quickly than we're doing it. So if I remember, this is the day before Erev Reish Chodesh El. We went into the lunchroom of 1414, there was Bachrim there, and we told them that we need their help. We want to be able to complete all the, you know, the sources for the Rambam in such a way that we should be able to complete it by tomorrow morning or like early afternoon before the Rebbe goes to the oil. They would go to the oil, we wanted to be able to tell the Rebbe that we completed it. So we got, you know, the, the Kelly Delight and a lot of Bachrim. We gave them each instructions how to do it. We gave them the uh, material from which to compile the sources. Everybody was assigned a certain um, amount that he was supposed to do. And we were working very hard. And the following day, we were able to tell the Rebbe, Erev Shchedesh, before the Rebbe went to the oil, that we completed putting together the sources, at least the first version of the sources for the entire Rambam. And then there's the whole process of it going to the printer and then bring it back and editing and correcting. By the time Chai El came, about, a little bit, about two weeks later, Chai El was on Shabbos. 
before Shabbos, the Rebbe had already a bound Sefer, Mara Mekemus, of the Rambam. A thick book on the entire Rambam. The Rebbe spoke about it on Shabbos by the Fabrengen, and he said that they were being prompted to do things very quickly and to rely just on you know, one Hagoyed that it should be checked over at least once and with, with the reliance that then there's going to be another uh, version where it will be you know, gone over again and more, more, more thoroughly and we'll get a, even a better and a corrected version but for the benefit of the learning of the Rambam, to be able to learn the Rambam and, and looking up the sources and, and to learn it in, in a thorough way, it was done in such a speedy way. And the Rebbe then said that those that worked on it <coughs> and the Reisham, the Reisham, Rabbi Heller went up and a few of us also went up and the Rebbe gave us L'chaim. After that, Fabrengen, after Shabbos, an instruction came from the Rebbe that we should gather a lot of Bochim. And they should go over every source in the Sefer Mishnah Torah, checking out every source, and making a Luch HaTikun. Corrections on whatever has to be corrected. And in addition to that, there was meanwhile new sources that were being found for halachas that we hadn't included before. Again, a lot of work went into it. And before Rosh Hashanah, we already had a supplement known as the Miluim for the Mara Mekremis, with a big Lua Hatikon, many corrections, and also many new sources in addition to the Sefer Mara Mekremis. Afterwards came an instruction. Now we have Rosh Hashanah. Tishrei came an instruction from the Rebbe that we should now make a new um, updated version of the Mara Mekemis of the Ramam, including all the corrections and all the additions. Again, we worked very hard. And meanwhile, we also asked that those that have sources that they found Rosh Yeshivas, Rabbanim, um, the Rebbe himself sent the Sefer Mara Mekemis to different G'dayli Yisrael. We got then uh, a lot of Mara Mekemis, a lot of sources from the Pnei Menachem, who was then the Gerer Rosh Hashiva, and later on became the Gerer Rebbe. And he sent a very warm letter to the Rebbe, and he sent many sources, and which the Rebbe in turn sent to us that we should, um, you know, we should include those sources, we should go over everything that he sent. And uh, the Rebbe shows a tremendous interest in this whole project. The Rebbe himself also gave sources for the, for, for the Sefer. And usually wherever the Rebbe gave sources, it says that it's, that it's from the Rebbe. We worked very hard. By the time Yutas Kislev came, we had a new updated beautiful book updated which is much 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 better much much better than, than the original one also Mara Mekemis a thick book with many sources for the entire Rambam fast forward a little bit the Rebbe once the Rebbe started the shear the, the whole shear of learning Rambam, the Rebbe would very often speak about this daily shear and connected um, with lessons in Abed Hashem, and the Rebbe would sometimes go in depth in, in, into a, one of the halachas of the Rambam that was being learned on that day. Came Chof Teves. Chof Teves is the Yom Hayilula of the Rambam. And there was a Fabrengen. It was a very uh, special, very interesting Fabrengen. It's recorded. And the Rebbe spoke 
on the shear of the Ramam of that day. And it was in Hilchis Ritzayach. It's in Sefer Nazikin. I believe it's Perik Zion. And there's a halacha there. Talmid Shegolo Maglin Rabbi Imoy. That if a student, if a Talmud needed to go into, be exiled to the Ori Mikvot, then the din is that his teacher, his Rebbe, has to go to exile with him because the Prosek says that he should go there Vachai and he should live. And in order that he should be able to live, he needs his teacher to be there with him to learn Torah with him. It's a Gemara and Makis. So the Rebbe says that if you look for the source for this halacha, and you look in the Sefer, the Mara Mekaimis, which compiles the, compiles the halachas, they bring the source in the Gemara Makis, which is correct. However, there's a whole other part in that halacha that the Ramam says, and that's a whole Indian in Musa, in ethics. The Ramam writes that Chaye Balei HaChochma Umvaksheho, that those that are learning intellectual people that seek knowledge, that seek chachma, below Torah, if they don't have Torah, it's like death, it's like not having life. And that's why it's important to have the teacher come. The Rebbe says that in this Sefer of Marim Akemis, there is no source given for this idea that the life of those that seek knowledge, those that learn chachma without Torah, is like lack of life. And the Rebbe says that there is a Sefer that does give the source for it. And I believe the Rebbe says that they use that Sefer. From what I remember, it was the Ramah Ma'am. And the Rebbe says, and that is, and that is the correct source. The source is, it's a Posik which says, Ha-chachma techaye ba'aleho. That chachma, wisdom, gives life to its master. And therefore, the Rebbe said that this shows that even in this Sefer, where there was so much work done, the Rebbe called it a Malocha Hachik Deilo Vachik Hashuva, even though such a great work was done, it shows Shgiyas Miyam, there's still mistakes, there's still room for corrections. And therefore, we should continue to work on finding more sources and making up for anything that was, needs to be corrected or missed out, so that by the time the Yoyim Uledas of the Rambam comes, we will have many editions of Marim Mekemis, which is Yud, Dalad, Nisan. And we worked very hard, and by that time we had a, a supplement, Sefer, of Miluim, of additional sources of the Rambam. And from then on, from time to time, there was more sources that were found and there was more supplements and eventually all the supplements were put together into one big, also thick safer that had many sources. So if you have these two sources together, you actually have a very, very nice um, collection of the sources for the Rambam. I hope that what I shared with you will encourage everybody, because the Rebbe says, said different reasons for, for, the, for the purpose of these Mara Mekemes. The Rebbe says that you can even paskin from the Rambam. Also, you can then learn more in depth the halachas of the Rambam. The Rebbe showed tremendous interest in this. The Rebbe himself, when, whenever these um, supplements would come out, the Rebbe, we would, the Rebbe would go over them. Sometimes there would be additions from, from the Rebbe to them. I hope that this will strengthen myself and everybody else in their learning of the Rambam, in learning in depth, and we should merit through this, the core of Mamish, like it says in the end of the Rambam, Hashem with the coming of Mashiach, the core of Mamish. L'chaim.